Well, welcome back to Let's Play Quake 2! I can't believe I ended that last video by saying ta, -ta. I do apologise for anyone who was horribly offended. Looks like we're heading down the hole. Down the rabbit hole, as it were. <coughs> that hurt. It's a pretty unconventional place to be keeping a computer. Okay, it's not going to be as simple as just shooting it. Nothing's ever that simple. It's going to be some kind of button that destroys it. Such as that one. Which actually ate up a bit of our health. What are we going to do now? Proceed to the next combat unit. I think that, that signals the end of the mission. Which brings us on to mission 4, the final mission in Quake 2, aside from the, any expansions. Without further ado, let's get to it! As you will now hear, it's Saturday night and I'm enjoying a glass of wine. While I let's play. Another cutscene. So as we heard, we're entering the mines and gaining access to a factory. Oh, gather some ammo. Check our objectives. Make our way to the mine entrance. Sounds simple enough. Let's begin. I sense large enemies. Oh no, regular enemies. It's a nice change. If only I could hit them. That was a long arm dude. I recognize his distinctive call. Oh god. <laughs> Took me by surprise there. Huh? Lucky he didn't take me by surprise over here, because there's lava. It's another long arm dude. I've actually read a wiki on Quake 2 and it did say what all the enemies were called and I've completely forgotten. Sorry. I'll just keep... Well, I'll stick with my own names. I like my own names better. These guys will forever be known as long arm dudes. Now I want that hyperblaster, but is it worth the risk? I think so. I wholeheartedly expect it to leap to my doom into the lava and be forever humiliated. I see a bandolier over there. But if we get it, will we be able to get back? Let's save and find out. There it is. Oh no, it's not a bandolier, it's a power shield. And we're in some trouble now. I think we might be slightly trapped. It's the fuzz again. Well, we wasted that entire shield getting back. No harm done. But I'm going to reload anyway, because we wasted a lot of ammo that we can't really afford to lose at this late stage in the game. So let's ignore that area down there. That ammo could be far better spent on long arm dudes. Don't seem to be in short supply at the moment. Two for one. Again. I'll leave that guy to bleed out. Shells. One bullets. Maybe we should use the machine gun for a bit. We've got of ammo for that. Okay. Time to figure out what we need to do. We have a 
feeling we can utilize these barrels to reach that ledge up there. I only wish I could push them a little bit faster. Looks like our guy needs some kind of workout. Although from the look of his wrists he's pretty muscular. You can never judge a man by the size of his wrists. Well, you can judge something about a man by the size of his wrists. <laughs> Pretend I didn't say that. Hello. Dude, I'm over here. Anyway. Just some goodies. I'm not sure we were actually supposed to come up here. Maybe we'll just be showered with gifts. Ooh, hello. Now, I did know, right up until a few minutes ago, what these guys were called, and I've forgotten already. I really should read that wiki again. Oh, well, at least they're not particularly powerful. No, they are numerous. Let's switch to a more powerful weapon. <laughs> I don't think this is the best gun to use, but it gets the job done. Hello. These guys run like great weirdos. I really do rely too much on the uh, super shotgun, but it is my favourite gun. Are we entering a new area? Now I have a feeling in the back of my head those long-armed guys are called tanks. But then I also have a feeling that the tanks are the guys with the rocket launchers. Uh, some, maybe for the last video I'll refer to each enemy by his correct name. That can be like a special treat for you. And it'll make me appear less horribly uneducated. So I believe we've now accessed the mines, as our computer hasn't updated. No, we haven't yet entered the mines, although it looks damn well like we're about to. Hello, gentlemen. And this looks like a mine if I ever saw one. And the computer's updated, which probably indicates we are now in the mines. Do not want to go in there. Who the hell is shooting me? Oh, really? Who is shooting? Oh, is it some cheeky bastard under here? Where the hell is that guy? Oh, he's hiding in the shadows. Right, we're not going to be going in there. That should be suicide, literally. I will duck under here and take the goodies. Okay, we've got a few options. Well, I say a few options. We have two options. Ooh, okay. I'm guessing that area is not an option. Save before I step in here. Again. No, I just got stuck in the doorway. This video has been entirely embarrassing in a number of ways. I really should not have played this game blind, and a lot of uh, unfortunate incidents could have been avoided. Like that. Oh, well, I suppose it's more amusing for you guys if I horribly embarrass myself on my first Let's Play. That's the buzzer. I don't know if you can hear it. That indicates the end of the video. So I'll see you in the next part. I've forgotten what number it is. But I'll see you there. Good. Bye.